Next, I want to show you how to rotate or flip your objects. For example, you have an object that's already been rotated, and it's pointed at an angle here, and then you have these two objects that are both flipped the wrong way. The process goes from left to right, so I need to flip them. So the point parts are going from left to right here. First of all, how to rotate. You can do any object here. You can click on the text box here. You can click on the arrow here. And notice every time I click on it, of course, I get my resizing handles all the way around. I can do resize diagonally, horizontally, vertically, but also that little green circle at the top of this object here, or at the top of any object for that matter. When you hover over it, your pointer turns into a circular arrow. That means when you click and you hold your left mouse button down, you can actually move it left or right, dun, dun, like that. And it turns into four-way arrows moving. So when I let go of it, okay, I twisted that, but I don't want to do that. I want to hit undo and actually turn this. So I'll hover over its green little arrow and flip it so it's about level here. Or maybe I'm just off a little bit and I can't quite eyeball it, because if you're like me, Doing freehand art is not as easy than if you can actually get it perfect and do it numerically. For example, I'm going to go ahead and select the object here, right click it, come down to size and position, and I'm looking at the rotation. Right now it's at 77 degrees, and you can see it's pointing at a 77 degree angle. So how do I get it to actually lay flat? Is it actually 90 degrees? Well, let me go ahead and select it and type in 90 and hit the tab key. Hey, that looks great. Now, how do I flip it the other way so it's from 90 here over to 180? Well, you can go ahead and type in the rotation by degrees, but there's another way of doing this. I'm going to go ahead and hover over the top part of the screen here and click and drag it so I can find the close button and close out and show you the other way of how to flip these objects. Now because I already have it selected, it's contextual related tab, the format tab is up there. Click on it, come down here to the range group and there's the rotate. Click on it and then just hover over these. Watch rotate, rotate, flip vertically, and you can see it's flipping down below. I can't point to it because if I do, you lose sight of it, but just watch as I hover over it. First, I have to go ahead and select it again and click on it and then flip it. Okay, so I want to flip it vertically. I want to rotate a little bit. I want to flip it horizontally. So when I flip it horizontally, it totally flips it from left, pointing left to right. That looks great. Click on it. I can click on this one and also do the same thing. And in fact, if I hold down the shift key after I select the first one, I can hold down the shift and click on the second one so they're both selected. So when I click on the rotate arrow in the arrange group on the format tab, I can flip them both. See, that's not going to work because I didn't get them to flip both the right way, but nonetheless, you get the point. Click off in a blank area so neither one of them is selected. Then go ahead and select on the one that has the problem. Click on rotate, hover over, make sure it flips it horizontally. Click on it and click off in a blank area. Looks great. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.